Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. I'm David. Today, we're gonna turn this into this. Let's get started on the journey. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, this is incredible! Last week on Flight Test. We are just uh, doing some prototyping to see what's gonna work for our hovercraft. We don't know if it'll work or not, but we're thinking about trying like differential with two motors in the back to push it for steering. Let's see what happens here. All right, so Josh and Mike are working on their project. Me and Noah are gonna go out and have some fun with this thing and tear up the runway and maybe even the pond. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'm excited for the big one now. Yeah, me too. Especially uh, with what we were just talking about and maybe making it a uh, land speeder. If you guys haven't been watching along so far, our ultimate goal here is to make a full scale one that we can ride on. And I kind of changed the design a little bit and we're going from this to something else. I'm gonna go talk to Josh, see what he thinks. So let's do it. What you got? Okay, so been working on this hovercraft. Works great, it's a real simple design. I wanted to make it more complicated on myself and I kind of had a moment last night that yeah. I was thinking about it. This is what I came up with. Life-size life uh, land speeder. What do you think? It looks just, I mean, there's not much that has to right. change. I'm thinking like the three back, you know, how it has the jets. Yeah. Basically put a big motor right in the center on the back one okay. for, with a big prop. And then we can take two of our uh, monster motors okay. with like 12 inch props, put one in each cowling on the sides and hopefully use a differential that way. I think it would it. work. I think it'd work great. And and I bet you if anything I'd give it a little bit more stability as well. Right. Too. So one big prop up here, one well, big prop back there. The nice thing about the prop inside, yes. Yeah. These are like louvers on the side, so we can actually hide it inside there and it can suck air in from the sides and blow it out into the screen. Seriously. Like, so you wouldn't even see the prop in the front. And if we don't get enough air, we just open it up and put right. screen on it. It would still be way more or less obvious yeah, than that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know why it just kind of came to me. I'm like, that's perfect. We that do makes it. my day. Man. <laughs> yes, please. And I think I think a lot of people will like it too. Yeah, just going around Edgewater and, a, and a, is uh, it the land speeder yeah, or land yeah. cruiser? Land speeder, I believe. Land speeder. Called, yeah. So two, <laughs> two motors here and here. One big motor in the back yeah. of the pallet, and then the front one will be the the lift. I love it. You think it's a good idea? Yeah. I mean, it's redesigning, but. We're not very far into it. No, no. And I mean, this is this is awesome just for proof of concept. Right. At the end of the day, like everything from the idea of the screw still carries over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just gonna make it so much cooler. I think so. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. So while Dave's working on the land speeder, I'm working on a little pet project here, and it's gonna be actually a new version of the Versacopter. This is one of our earlier prototypes done about two years ago from our good friend, Andrew Salou. Uh, we're basically gonna be taking what we learned here, and we're gonna be doing one more version of this because unfortunately, it was getting too costly sending it back and forth getting these prototypes made. Now the cool thing is with PCB Way, we can send these files out and have them very economically and very professionally done in a very quick amount of time. You still want to make sure the original vision of the Versacopter stays alive, which means it can go from a 5 inch to a 6 inch all the way up to a 10 inch platform. So you can build a small race quad all the way up to something that can lift a big camera and be able to cruise around for a long period of time. This frame does exactly that, but all this complicated front nose piece needs to go. And what we've learned recently with standoffs and everything, we have a better solution than before while keeping the versatility alive. Now this service is not just for us. If you guys have any crazy ideas or any prototyping like to be done, whether it's uh, PCB, whether it's 3D printing, whether it's uh, routering and CNC, PCB Way can be the solution for you. I'm gonna go ahead and send this file out to PCB Way. In a couple weeks when it comes back, we'll put it together and we'll let you see how it goes. You up to, Dave? I am trying to figure out the best way to make a bag for my hovercraft. So I'm experimenting. This is uh, round three. <laughs> well, it looks good though. Thank you. I like the way I like the way that you uh, you bag it. Kind of like uh, wrapping a Christmas present, but not. <laughs> but in a way funner, crazier manner. Uh, eh, no, maybe fun. not. <laughs> Good luck, Dave. Thank you, sir. Holes in the 
bag, honestly. It's blowing air out here. Oh, okay. Yep. So it's not pushing out all, pushing of, all of what it's getting. <laughs> do it again, do it again. But, Figure that out. How many holes do you need? <laughs> um, yeah, I just started poking holes until it <laughs> floated. Yeah, I, I think I need to do some more work to this stuff. How close. do you put your holes in it? Just the soldering iron? Yeah, soldering iron. Because they're so perfect. Yeah. But there's, yeah, there's holes all along the inside edge here. So you don't have any holes in the very bottom? Um, I put a couple in. A couple in? Yeah, just to make sure water didn't get stuck in it. I had that happen on the first one. There's your problem. So you, you know what the manufacturing, we have the clear poly tube that's like three inch clear poly tube. Yeah. You could just like. That's, I was playing with that yesterday and mm -hmm. it was a complete and total flop. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Should have known that you would have thought of that. Um, but I didn't try to just make it a tube that went around. I was actually trying to cut it to get it to oh. round. So maybe if I do that and just, you know, actually just let it have the wrinkles or whatever and see what it does. It might be worth doing. You gonna put more holes in it and see what happens? Yeah. I need a soldering pencil to do so. My favorite thing is your uh, windshield, by the way. Yeah. It just kind of finished it off. It did. It does finish it off. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, yeah, back to the drawing board. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! This guy's messing. You got your little podium? Yes, sir. Powdium power bank. I was out here telling Bob how nice it is to have portable power when you're out in the field working on stuff. That's true. Uh, the, yeah, the cool thing about this thing is it's about, I think it's a 700 watt, 614 watt hour battery. I've seen some different battery banks that we've done in the past, um, but this one's, I think, 18 pounds or so, which is super cool. And you've got your AC, you got your car charging option, and then you also still also have solar options as well which is you can charge in three different ways. And it takes like 1.4 hours to charge the, the thing from zero to 100. We probably, Dave, would you say we probably use the glue gun the most yeah, for these kinds of scenarios? Definitely, like we're out there trying to fix something before we're uh, getting ready to shoot. Cause I mean, it just comes in so handy. Cause at the end of the day, like you don't want to have to walk all the way in here. If it's a big project, like you want to be able to do it right out the field, which is super nice. So, so they contacted us a little while back. When we were talking through it, I thought it was a perfect fit for what we do. Um, and the cool thing about it is that for the community, uh, there's a coupon code, FTT12. You get $120 off. Originally $549, so you're getting it for like $429, which is pretty awesome. Um, so if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. Um, you can grab yourself a Podium 614-watt-hour, uh, 700-watt LifePo battery unit to hang out with you at the flying field. Um, and we're going to take this, we're probably going to go mess around with some different projects and start gluing some things together. Probably need to glue a little bit of this back together as well, which is what we're working on. Um, so yeah, good luck uh, Dave and uh, hopefully your stuff gets charged in time for you to fly again, Bob. Okay, good. <laughs> If you pop it through the actual base plate of the foam, so you're filling up the bag. And put holes in the... And you put holes in the foam. Yeah, I can give that a shot. Because you can always move it back further away from just the duct. You know what I mean? So right, more yeah, centered. put some back here. Yeah, and that way it'll lift it up where a lot of that weight is and, and make it stand straight. But then uh, if it doesn't work, just put a piece of tape over it. True, very true. Yeah, I'll cut a hole in the back and try that. Yeah. Let's see, an engineer would get his rule math or his slide rule out and try to figure out. And we just decide whether we want like a marker <laughs> size hole or a skewer size hole, thumb size hole. Why am I not all the way through yet? <laughs> what are you cutting into? <laughs> it should just be two layers of foam. I built this thing and I don't remember there being three layers. Maybe it's growing. All right, 
right, so yeah, now I just need to do some uh, mixing on the receiver and we'll give it a proper test. It looks so good. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. It's exciting. I mean, they would be excited. What, what, what child doesn't want a full-size uh, land speeder from Star Wars? I want one. <laughs> <laughs> I said child. No, your son wants one. Stefan. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, somebody's got to drive it, right? Yeah. All the kids are riding? Yeah. For me. I'm going to tell me, like, bag, steer, throttle up. So, bag here. This is bag. <laughs> Oh, hands down. Like, it is ridiculous. <laughs> and once you, like, level out, it just automatically, there's yeah. stabilization, right? Yeah, it's perfect. We should drop the Cadex in then here and see if we can make it around the shop, like, racing. Awesome, place. let's do it. All right. <laughs> That's not even loud. <laughs> just wait until the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait for the big My one. My watch will tell me if I'm in too loud to... There he is. The decibel rating. <laughs> These are the props for the nacelles for the big version of this. You know, the ducted fans. And then we've got 36 inch ones for the actual uh, bags inflation. That, that, that prop's bigger than the, the, <laughs> the whole thing of buying. <laughs> I, got, I got the little one all done and ready to go. We're going to basically just uh, drive it around the soccer shop and see how it does. And to make it more fun, we put FPV on it. Your camera looks like you uh, you lean a little bit to the right there. It's, it's getting a little warm because Mike's taking too long. You ready, Mike? All right, here we go. I'm all over the place. It's, it's incredible. It's unreal. Yeah. It's just uh, the stopping part that's an issue because it <laughs> has like no friction. So are you going to have a big button on the real one where you can like throw the reverses on? But... Yeah, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. Maybe we should do some programming on our ESCs to get reverse. I like that. Just, wow. just imagine because if you have to back up from something, then you can actually like pull away. <laughs> but okay. I would say that's a complete total success. Yes. All right. So we have a plan. 
works out pretty good, right? This is gonna be the first time we ever built something we can actually ride in, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're ready to go. We're just gonna start uh, designing the big one get yep. to work, right? And make sure you hit that subscribe bell because we don't just work with foam board, we work with foam, period. Which means our hot wire cutters are gonna be cutting out some really big pieces. We're gonna be building some really big things. It's gonna be epic. <laughs> we'll see you next time. See you next time.